My quest north has been met with little I cannot handle. Really, not much I feel the need to write about. But just so I don't forget, I've chosen down a few of the day-to-day -day functionings of the world before the curse, more for my sake than anyone else. Today I found an odd reminder of the past, a griller, an ancient rame sporting good. Ancient in that it's been in use for a couple thousand years, but it is still in use today. It's classical. A griller is a club used in grilling, our most ancient tradition and our oldest game. It's a heavy wooden club, a little longer than my arm and wider than my palm on the flat side. The other side is a little thinner than my thumb. The end is hook slid with a divot carved into it to catch and throw a ball. Every other male child on Rame had a grella, as they were amazed to make your own fun. Two games were played primarily with it. One using the end of the grella to throw a ball, and the other is throwing the club itself. Catching something so large and heavy is a good way to teach the children reflexes. Pain is the greatest teacher of all, besides death. Of course, those are just the official sports. One could also play at combat with their friends, which I did frequently. It wasn't hunting, there was no killing and no blood. Mostly. Only bruises and the occasional missing tooth. Simpler times. We thought of ourselves as the old mythic heroes. Ancient Romay hunters would throw the clubs at their prey, knocking birds from the sky and knocking moose and deer unconscious. When people think of the past out of written memory, they think of a hairy man and a heavy bat stalking his prey. Early humans hollowed the end of the club, making it whistle as it swung. This led to Ramey's only musical instrument, the only one we didn't import or steal from somewhere else. This also allowed to put one to put a rock in the end and catapult a smaller attack at a foe without throwing away your only weapon. In this way, we evolved without the need of bows or swords, though we later imported those, too. Its use as a shovel was even more beneficial. Early men could work on fortifications with a heavy, earth-breaking tool, and as a child, this is the part I found the most fun. My grella, wherever it is now, is still adorned with dried mud. My brothers often use theirs as oars, playing as boats. It is a shame I have no boat, though. I doubt there are any left on Rame. A grella is heavy, much heavier than the average sport bat. This breeds stronger Rame children, but it means that many others are too weak to carry a grella. Other sports are unpopular on Rame, but... Grell is unpopular outside of Ramey. Unless a great deal of children survived and upgrade the culture, and assuming they brought grellas with them, which is even more unlikely, the sport may die out. Good grella wood is special. The more knocks it takes, the tougher it gets. By the looks of it, this is someone's great-grandfather's bat, passed down through the ages. That, combined with the softening that most of the corpses ungrow, mean I've found myself a new weapon. One I will carry with myself until I die. A symbolic gesture, yes, but as I am, as far as I know, the only survivor of Rame, it's my duty to carry on the ways and thoughts of the past. And so with this grella, I will become a great sportsman, entertaining crowds in the capital city, or perhaps I will become a child making play, or perhaps I will be an ancient demigod hunting tomorrow's lunch, or killing monsters. I leave you as Asha, Greller and Hunter. Perhaps I can still make a game of it.